What up, what up? What up, what up? You already know what it is. Salute to the subscribers that notification gang, RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise you heard me right. But this cap right here is brought to you by UndraftedShop.com. Salute to my man, Sean Kilpatrick, basketball player. He used to play for the Brooklyn Nets. He's overseas right now doing his thing. He has a whole shop of undrafted material, merchandise. Um, it's actually pretty fire. He sent me a bunch of joints, you know what I'm saying, and I will be rocking them in some of the videos, you know what I'm saying, that we got going on and all of that. That's my brother, you know what I'm saying, real, real solid dude, man. I appreciate the support for the channel and for the brand. He definitely watches and he um let me know that he, he fucks with what's going on over here. So, um, real quick, John John the Don. Now John John the Don is starting to take aim at Ace I mean, and people asked me, did I think that John John the Don was going to do Jack Boy main level? Was he going to go past it? Here's what's important, right? You guys have to understand. And this is some things that he said inside of, uh, he interviewed with DNA yesterday on, on Breakfast with the Champ. And like, there's certain points that I, that I dig at and I see and I hear. He's letting the world know that one, Ace I mean, has not done any of the work. Like he has not earned this battle, but he's taking it because he wants to silence him. He wants to erase Ace I mean for good. He wants to ally Jack Boy Main. He wants to. And something that I didn't realize is a lot of the all of the battles that he's had with Goonies or Goonie members have not ended. Him versus Twerk got messed up. Him versus Jack got messed up. Like, there's always some underlying friction that goes on in these battles. Like, this shit just never goes the way it was supposed to go, right? And he's saying that the Goonies ride together. Like, that's the reason why all of the issues and shit happen. It's because they ride together. And he said when he killed Jack, he killed off the Goonies. And he's saying anybody that rides with Ace Amin in this regard is getting killed off too. Like, this is, this is Thanos. Like, like he's out of here. And he also went to mention that no matter how good Ace I mean does, it has no, 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 no relevance in what he's gonna do. Like this is what I'm coming to do, and you, there's nothing that you're gonna do to change this. Like you doing good only bodes well for our battle. Like if you do well, if 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 you do well, it will only bode good for you. But I'm still coming to do what I'm going to do, and. Unfortunately, fortunately, unfortunately for Ace, I mean, John John don't lose a lot of battles. Like he don't, I don't got in the last, let's say five years, John John's probably had 20 battles or more. I don't have five losses. I don't have five losses. It'd be hard for me to really give you three clear big time losses that he has. He does not lose battles. And he definitely doesn't lose big time to people that he doesn't like. Like, okay, so the twerk, a lot of people, have, some people had twerk, you know what I'm saying, winning that battle, but it was a messed up battle, it didn't happen, it didn't finish. Um, the ill will, cool. But other than that, I mean, and people debate the ill will shit all the time, but he beats people. He beats people at a high level and a high clip. And that's why a lot of the analysts and people that are talking are really like, yo, I don't see how Ace Amin wins in this situation because it's a professional top tier guy versus someone who's done a lot of promoting like Ace I mean got himself to the battle but battle wise battle wise in actual rap I say you know I'd be like battle rap and rapping he can rap but he hasn't done it against anyone that's really worth me talking about right now like I, I what MC I don't I, I, I draw a blank ultimate madness I mean come on that you see, the winners of Ultimate Madness is, like, you know, Fonz won one, respectfully. Holmesy won one, respectfully. Easy to block Captain and Real Sick did not win Ultimate Madness. And their their careers are kind of above them. You know what I'm saying? No, no harm, no foul. But it's kind of like a crapshoot. You battle the right person, you win. You happen to make it on to round by round by round. So, here's my thing for John John, right? 
Not only do you have to win this battle, you kind of have to body him. You have to body bag him. Like, it can't be no, if it's a debatable, if Ace Amin has a debatable battle with John John the Don on bullpen on March 20th, like John John's house, John John's league, John John's stage, Don John John's setup, if Ace Amin has a debatable, People are saying, like, it could be 2-1 going either way. I had it 1-1 going into the... Th That's not enough. That is not enough. Mm -mm. It's not enough. He has to body him. He really does. He kind of... He has to send him to the friendly skies. You know what I'm saying? And I think John John knows the pressure of that. When I spoke to him about... Uh, he dropped a freestyle disc the other day. He was like, yo, that was nothing. Like, this is, uh, this is the bag that I'm in right now. And scary as it is... For Ace, I mean, I know he really don't give a fuck. And really, he's um, in a win-win situation because even if he goes into this battle and doesn't win, nobody thought he was going to win anyway. Unless it's, you know, the niggas around him and shit. Like, they, you know, I got him. But, like, any of the outside heads, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with Ace, I mean, I promoted both of his records on this channel. I dropped the Baptist when it happened. I dropped Code Red when it happened. I fuck with Ace, I mean, off the court. He's a solid individual. I like what he stands for as far as personally. I watched his DJ Smalls interview from beginning to end. I have no issue with him. But I cannot say in a battle, in a rap battle, I said it before. I was like, what has he done? You know what I'm saying? Like, what has he done? I'm going to throw him an outside chance to get one round. But I got John John winning clearly, 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 clearly. Because he's focused. And that's the one thing that I did get from his interview. He's very focused and he does not seem like he's gonna let someone walk into his house bullpen battle league and and, and, sh and show him up i mean he's battled a lot of people in bullpen john john they're like he's like on his own league on stage he had the, he had another card that was dope where um beat out battle loso and he had chilla and there was a lot of other dope battles that's when clone battled b magic and smoked him you know what i'm saying like he's mm -mm. Not gonna happen. But what I will con I will commend him for is the business side. You know what I'm saying? Like the business side. He took the battle away from URL and he did not let DNA call it a rookies versus vets battle because he was like, yo, branding means everything. When you say, is this a rookies versus bets? He was like, no, this is a boss versus a dummy. Like this is not no rookies versus bets. This is not URL shit. This is my shit. This is my shit. He's not letting nobody go out like that. And I know he's smarter than to just let somebody take his brand and call it something else. But um, Ace, I mean, he's proved once again that promotion can get you where you want to go. Like just to being able to talk that shit, being able to get under people's skin, being able to like really, really, really drive your point home. Like it could take you anywhere. You know what I'm saying? It really can. But the thing is, when you get there, are you going to prove, like what are you going to prove when you get there? When you get the shot, when you get the shot, is it gonna is it gonna equal anything, or are you gonna get your fucking head sniped and clipped off? Because, um, he said it when he battled Jack. You know, y'all niggas was jumping in the crowd with him. Y'all niggas was jumping in the crowd with him. And I always say you may get what you want, but you may not want what you get. And when that shit happens, it's gonna be it's gonna be a movie. I'm telling you. So. My 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 predictions really. I mean, I already know. I already told y'all who I think is gonna win. But the best thing I think he can do is make it debatable. A win is out of control. If he wins, battle rap flips upside down. Oh my goodness, he literally will be <laughs> that guy if he wins. If he's I mean, beats John John and Don. Oh my god. And I think he. I know he knows that John John and Don knows that he can't lose or even have a debatable with Ace on me. It has to be a body bag. We're not getting pay-per-views to see a no fucking debatable. We're not. And you know what I'm gonna probably do? Um, there's a blogger, right? There's a blogger named Frustration Q, Mr. Check the Temperature, right? He does blogs and shit like that. He's creeping up to try to get to his thousand followers, right? And I mean subscribers, and this is his birthday weekend. So what I'm gonna do, right? If you're still watching, He's got like 900 and something subscribers. He does dope content, right? If you subscribe to his channel 
and in the comments you write done right you write done like you subscribe to his channel and then you write subscribed or whatever the case may be i'm gonna let him pick one of the people you know if i'd have sent me you go to this video if i'd have sent me whatever the case may be and if you subscribe to this channel one of the people that do it i'm gonna get you the fade card i'm going to pay for your pay-per-view so you can watch the joint that's what we're doing today that is what we're doing today that's what we're doing I will cop someone's pay-per-view. All you got to do is subscribe to that dude. I feel like he's a good dude. He's got good energy. And you know what I'm saying? He's doing good things. But anyway, back to this shit right here, right? Um, Ace. You got your work cut out for you, dog. You got your work cut out for you. And I haven't even got Showtime SP's opinion on this whole situation yet. You know what I'm saying? I will get it. You know I will. But uh, other than that... Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Salute to my man, Sean Kilpatrick, for the merch. You dig. <laughs> UndraftedShop.com. Uh, make sure y'all go check him out. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Salute.